So now that we've covered the Train Collection, the three new 2021 collections, and the Riptide case, in today's video, we're going to talk about the Riptide patches, Operation Riptide stickers and Surf Shop stickers, and all of the agents, and how they look from an investing standpoint. So as always, if you do enjoy and you're new to the channel, be sure to sub if you're in the two-thirds of people that aren't yet, and quickly before we get into it, check out my sponsor for this video, Free Cash. Free Cash is an easy to use site where you can make money by completing simple tasks on your PC. If you go to the Earn tab, there's simple surveys you can fill out and mobile games you can play to earn coins. And if you sign up with my link in the description, you also get a free 100 coins or $1 to start with. On average, it only takes around 42 minutes until users cash out for the first time, and there's an average of $23 earned a day, which is pretty nuts. And most importantly, they have an easy to use withdrawal system with any options you really want, crypto, CSGO skins, gift cards. So once again, be sure to start making some easy money today with that link in the description and get started with a free 100 coins. But for now, let's get right into the video. So let's look at patches first, probably the least hyped items in the operation. So you'd think they're just completely unprofitable. Nobody is buying them compared to collections. Why would you invest in them, right? Well, let's first look at the trend of the Broken Fang Metal Skill Group patch collection. The vast majority of these patches were kinda just dead off the start. They had fluctuations in price that allowed for some profit if you sold at the right time, but it's simply not enough of a profit margin and not enough of them to sell for it to be worth your time, at least for most of them. One exception is the Metal Silver Demon, one of the pink tier patches that had a really big spike around a month period between early May and early June. Remember that time period as we will come back to it in a second. The other pink tier patch, the Global Elite, also had a similar spike in the same time period, just to crash pretty quickly after. If you sold at the right point, you definitely made some really good money, but it didn't last for long. So. Are we going to see the same spike up in price again? Well, the thing is, this spike was kind of a fluke because it was very random and not predictable. And not only that, it happened in all CSGO investments, not just patches and not just operation skins. For example, the glove case. We saw a huge spike in this thing at the exact same time period and it died down very quickly after. Same as the patches, and it's the same thing for the butterfly knives too. It's not just items within a certain price range or necessarily even tied to an operation or a case or whatever it may be. There was just a ton of investing hype and a ton of skin hype during this period, and this caused these patches to be profitable for a short time frame, but it's very possible that we don't see another hype surge like this again, as that's all it really was. Maybe you could argue that with the major overlapping with the operation that a ton of more players are going to come in and we're going to see some huge skin investing hype, which I do think can happen, but to the extent of what happened in May slash June, I wouldn't really count on it. So next up, let's talk about stickers. This time around, we have two different quote unquote collections with honestly a lot of good looking stickers that have a lot of crafting potential but we have a lot of options with the Surfshop collection giving four variants of 18 different stickers. So 72 stickers for that collection, plus the 14 from the Riptide sticker collection for a total of 86 stickers in this operation. This is a really absurd amount compared to the mere 16 from the Broken Fan collection. So even if some of these stickers look good, how do they weigh up as investments? Well, let's start by comparing it to the Gold Web Foil from Shattered Web, a sticker that was heavily invested in but as a sticker didn't really look so great and proved it in the numbers. Across its lifespan, only 66,000 of them were applied on guns, which you may think is a lot but you'll see why it isn't in a second. This sticker has had a really interesting history so far, a massive spike in July of 2020 but since then it's pretty much just been on the downtrend since, except for a few occasions. But now let's compare that to the Battle Scarred Hollow sticker, a sticker that has nearly 100,000 applied to guns, which keep in mind the Gold Web Foil has 30,000 less applied but Shattered Web was released over a year earlier so it's insanely low and the Battle Scarred Hollow is definitely more sought after as a craft but 
so far its trend hasn't been too hot either, even though it's clearly a sticker that people like at least compared to the gold web foil. I still think it is definitely good for the long term by the way, but with all this new content, people are going to be selling off their old investments to buy in. So from the gold web foil, we've seen a sticker that was over invested and not as many people wanted to craft with it, which caused it to crash in price. And from the battle scar to hollow, we've seen a sticker that the community seemed to perceive really well, crafted with it a lot more than the gold web foil, but still the price just didn't really show any results. And I just can't recommend any of these stickers over operation skins for long term because there's just not enough drive behind them. And it's been proven plenty of times in the past. They've never had any good long lasting results. So sure, you could get lucky and buy in at the perfect time and sell for a decent profit if you get out at the perfect time. But I can't say if trends are going to look one way or another for the stickers this time because they haven't looked precisely one way in the past repeatedly. So I can't just say they're going to look like that again with any certainty. So finally, that's going to leave us with agents. Agents are an interesting case because they're the one thing you'd think wouldn't be profitable at all because their supply is permanent. It's not like they're stickers or patches which are consumable, but they do have some hope, maybe. I'm just trying to keep everybody's hopes up at this point, but a lot of the Broken Fang agents had pretty decent trends up until this new operation got released of course, and everybody wants to get new agents, new stars, all that good stuff which caused a huge crash so far. But from Broken Fang trends, if you buy towards the final month or two of the operation, when everybody's got enough stars to buy the top agents, you're gonna get them at their very cheapest as there's the most in supply. Of course, not when they just get released and only a few people who bought the stars could get them, as of course they're gonna be at their most expensive when the only way to get them at the very beginning of the operation is by buying stars, so they definitely die down after that as players that complete the operation, I guess quote unquote normally and get the stars through the pass, get a chance at buying them later on. But as an investment, Maybe you can make a buck or two if you get a good one, but you kind of have to buy at the perfect time. Ideally, if you get a hold of the one you'd like towards the end of the operation and sell it like six months later, you'll probably end up somewhere around even based on past trends. All you'll really get out of it is a cool agent skin to use for a few months. Just got to make sure you sell these before the next operation starts. As we've seen, this causes a huge crash in price. I would consider them overall more of an item that can maintain their value rather than an investment though because you can't really buy them in bulk, they're just too much of a hassle and it doesn't really look like you showed that great of trends in the past but I mean it is a cool agent skin if you do want to use it for a few months. But besides all that, I think that does wrap it up for this video so as always if you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on any new operation content. And of course, check out Free Cash, link in the description. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.